Hello everyone, this is a bit of an impromptu video, I didn't plan on making one, but if Andrew Ng goes and makes a tweet saying that an amazing new course on Coursera is live, well you better bet I'm gonna go and share my thoughts with you right away. So I think this course has been missing for quite a while, because there's been nothing that really strongly prepares you for Andrew Ng's machine learning and deep learning courses, those are phenomenal, and he does include math in them as well, but it is definitely better if you can learn the math outside of that, so before you had to take stuff like the Imperial College of London course, but now there's a really strong fundamental course that prepares you for all the good stuff. I haven't actually looked at the course yet, I'm going to do that with you for the first time. I am a math major, so I probably know how to look at it pretty well. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. So mathematics for machine learning and data science, there's not really a difference. Specialization, master the toolkit of AI and machine learning. Mathematics for Machine Learning and Data Science is a beginner-friendly, that's very important, it wouldn't be useful otherwise, beginner-friendly specialization where you'll learn the fundamental mathematics toolkit of machine learning, calculus, linear algebra, statistics, and probability. Now notice that Andrew Ng does not teach this course. Definitely don't frown upon these other instructors. While I haven't actually heard of any of them, I guarantee you they're incredibly smart people and great at teaching. So let's take a look at the course itself. So there are three courses in this specialization. The first is linear algebra, the second is calculus, and the third is probability and statistics. That sounds like a pretty good way to separate it. If we look at the first course, we can see linear algebra for machine learning and data science. So this course is going to talk about vectors and matrices, uh, stuff like singularity, rank, linear independence. This looks like a very standard way of teaching all of the linear algebra one concepts. So if you were to go to university, they'd probably have the first course of linear algebra on this stuff and a second course that goes into further stuff that is less relevant, but occasionally useful for ML. Okay, course number two, calculus for machine learning and data science. Probably gonna be pretty standard calculus one and three mostly, We'll see if they do integrals, which would be in Calculus 2. Uh, functions, different types of functions, Newton's method. So truthfully, this doesn't go as in-depth as I would have expected for Calculus. But to be honest, you really don't need to dive too deep into Calculus. They do a good job of focusing on the important things, which is functions and different ways of optimizing functions that big keyword optimize, they could have even said optimize as one of the main pillars of math for ML. It's all about optimizing these functions, and we generally do that through calculus and uh, something called gradient descent, less so this Newton's method thing, but it's a calculus thing, so they probably teach you that anyway. So yeah, pretty standard calculus one with a bit of an extra focus on the machine learning topics. Let's look at the third course. Okay, probability and statistics. Okay, there's too much technical stuff in this paragraph, so I'm just gonna go to the check marks here. Describe and quantify the uncertainty inherent in predictions made by machine learning models. Basically, just it's a probability thing, and uncertainty is kind of a synonym for probability, so that doesn't mean too much by itself. Apply common statistical methods, like maximum likelihood estimation. That's probably the most common thing you'll see in statistics ever. Aside from the words random variable, you'll see MLE over and over and over again, so I'm happy they talked about that. And MAP, a little less common, but also very popular as well. So here, visually and intuitively understand the properties of commonly used probability distributions in machine learning and data science. That's pretty fair. If you say the word probability, you're not going to be able to get around certain probability distributions. There's just different models that people have made. And in machine learning and data science, especially the normal distribution is going to come up. Probably stuff like Bernoulli and binomial as well. Maybe not into like stuff like Poisson. If it does, then that's a little unnecessary in my opinion. But if it does, that's still very useful as well. And finally, assess the performance of ML models using interval estimates and margins of errors. That's probably a synonym for confidence intervals and hypothesis testing. If it is, that makes sense. And that's something I would definitely expect for this type of course. Okay, so my overall thoughts, this is going to be great if you want to learn the mathematics for machine learning and data science. That's the title of the course, and it's going to accomplish that pretty well. If you're interested in taking the course, I'll have a link in the description so you can check that out. And let me know what you guys thought. Drop a thumbs up if you liked the video. And thanks so much, guys. I'll see you later.